Okay, uh, we're going to make this uh, video to show how to set the stakes for a Portaflex safety round pin. And first of all, we'll talk about the measuring line. Uh, it, the center is marked mark center, and then if you go down the line a ways, you'll come to the tag that's marked for a 20-foot pin. And that's what we're going to do first, is set up a, a 20-foot pin. So we'll, the first thing you'll do is you decide where the center of the pin is going to be. And we've decided it's going to be right here. And so we'll go, we'll just put the loop onto the center and then we'll walk out here to the first tag. Now the second thing you have to decide is where you want the gate. Because the first stake will be one side of the gate. So let's just assume we want the gate right here. So we would just drive this first stake and, and drive them on an angle. So so it's uh, it's leaning back about like that. And and at your first time just set it in just enough to uh, uh, to hold uh, for the line. And then we'll go to the, the twenty foot loop and we'll put that right on that stake and then we'll stretch it out here to the tag again and then right at that tag you'll drive another stake and this will be leaned back. Now these stakes are only the setup stakes. It doesn't hurt to have them driven right on in uh, but it doesn't necessarily need to be. Now you just go back Take it off of that stake you just drove, move it up here to the next one, put it right on the on that stake, and then stretch it out to the tag again. That way all of your stakes will be equidistance from the center and equidistance apart until you get back around to the gate. And the two gate stakes will be anywhere from 8 to 12 feet apart. It doesn't really make too much difference on the where the how wide they are on the setup stakes. Okay, now I'm driving the seventh or the last stake on the 20 foot pin. And then you would just lay your pin right out here and unroll it and then unfold it and come back to those stakes and put the ropes on. But for this video, this is only to to show how to uh, how to set the the, how to use the measuring line. And now we're going to go get the big stakes, the ones that you will actually use. Okay, now we want to we want to talk a little bit about the stakes for the Portaflex round pin. The easiest stakes to use are these cement form stakes. And you can get them at any lumber yard or Home Depot or any, any place uh, that has cement form equipment. And they're, they're the least expensive, and they come in a variety of lengths. So you can get uh, 12 inch, 14, 18, 24, 36, whatever size. So, so that, uh, that's really a handy stake, and I, I recommend people just to, to buy those so, so you can save on the, the freight of me having to ship them because they got them right in your backyard. So that's, that's one kind. Now, if you're going to be... Uh, pretty much in a permanent place. The one thing about the, the round stakes is if it gets wet and dry and wet and dry or if you have sand or any number of things, the whole strength of the portiflex is in the stakes. And so we, we make a, a stake that really gets a good hold of the dirt. But they're a little harder to drive and they're a little harder to pull out because of these 
knobs on them and the flange on it. But if, if you're going to be in a, in a location where your krill is going to be set up on a permanent or semi-permanent basis, I recommend these, uh, these pins. And again, we can make them. We custom make them all so we can make them whatever length you want. I usually carry a, a one foot and a foot and a half and, and two feet with me when I'm traveling. Uh, so I can match any ground that I happen to be in. And then we have this with the flange on, or, or we have them with, with, uh, without the flange. And, and that's adequate for most situations. The one with the flange is only if you're in real sandy uh, ground or real loose ground or, or wet ground. So that's, uh, that, that's about it for the, for the stakes.